Here we got. We'll take this. And I guess we should take this, just because it's heavy. We can wait there for a sec. It's actually looks a fair bit bigger than the other anchor. <laughs> now the tricky part is going to be somehow fitting it on there. I don't know how it's going to fit, hopefully, but yeah, it's good to be back to the boat. That's the figure that we're worried about. <laughs> okay, move this out of the way for a sec. As you can see, I've been mucking around a little bit, but uh, the time has come for some results. But I think the uh, the uh, answers are about to come right now, actually, because <laughs> yesterday, as I was mucking around, I think hopefully maybe I found the issue, which is. Uh, all to do with these plugs right here. Oh, nothing's happening this time. Let's go down to 20 and see if it registers something. So we've got a we've hit a snag already. I was hoping to just come here with uh, the answers, but uh, it appears to not be happening. So we're going to have to uh, pull this out here, start tracing wires back a bit. Okay, should rest on there. Okay, so... So we're going from... Okay, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see this, but it's these two here, running through. to okay so it runs to this wire here <laughs> so we've got to get to the bottom of this so this wire here is running it's in a white casing okay I think it runs straight down here so that switchboard actually might not be where we got to go which one is it get my hand on it for a sec So it doesn't run into here. It actually runs further down into where the sails are kept. So we'll have to get that open. Might leave that unscrewed for a sec. So we have to get in here. <laughs> so uh, so this would be it here. If you can see that. I should pull those sails out at some point and have a look at what we've got as well. But for now we just shark them up here. <laughs> Can we reach? We can. So this is the cable in question that we're having issues with. Oh. What I'm looking for, I guess, is just any kind of connection that would indicate there's a break or a, an issue with it. Seems so far it's just one single cable. <laughs> and it goes in here. Where's it come out? Oh, it must go straight in and all the way up to there. Just pop that up here for a sec. Okay, so we're negative. Isn't that interesting though? Look at that. Okay, so this is the positive I would have called it. So that male plug should be the positive. It is the positive. So I should actually have this here. So there we found two problems there. Okay, so if we put the positive, which should be the red, this should be the positive one here. 
and this should be the negative and when I pop it on we're reading well we are reading look we're reading 20 now so 20 volts which is where about where it should be so this plug is working as well we know that but what we do also know is that this is now the negative and it should be the positive shouldn't it like because this is the red wire so not only do we have a connection issue but we've also got the polarity switched around looks fine though So we'll test from here to here. So we'll plug this one in. Just so we're just checking the plug is not the faulty part. See, that's clearly a black line, and this is clearly the positive connection. So, okay, I think we've nutted out the actual problem, but now we've just got a connection issue. We'll seal that up properly once we get this all back together, and once we get it running. How long has that been like that for, though? That's the big question. Because clearly that's, there's no way, if it, if it, if the connection error happened here, that means that it never was connected correctly. <laughs> because it's not like it's an accidental lock. Back at the controller I can see the, how that could be a, a mistake. At the controller where you've unplugged, you've checked something and you've accidentally plugged it in. But this, this one means the connections actually had to have been connected and soldered together incorrectly. So that's a bit of a worry. If that's all it is, then I'm going to be a happy man. Let's get out of the rain. It's starting to rain now, which is a bummer. Let's see if I can hold all this at once so you can see what's going on. So I'm putting that on the negative, which is now the positive or whatever. <laughs> and now we're reading 20. So whether it was the connections when I was just mucking around with them and it's just jostled it, or there's actually corrosion in those other plugs, we're at least onto something here. So it should be as simple right this very second as switching the positive, this is the positive to the controller, to the negative, <laughs> and vice versa, and we should get something going on. Hey! That's a big deal. All of a sudden, we have a charging light. Let's set on just, just on zero, that's just a timer. So I've had to, I found the, um, the instructions online and went through and uh, it sort of gave me some light under the situation and look thanks so much to the guys like when I put that first video up on the boat a lot of people that are obviously a lot more familiar with solar than I am um, uh, mentioned that there is something up with it especially when I you know when I was turning things on and off they mentioned that there was definitely something up that I should look into so we started the process and it looks like we found the issue okay so I guess it's unfortunate that it's clouded over again. Geez, the weather's been so on and off at the moment. We had full sun no more than like half an hour ago. <laughs> slowly accumulating all the little bits and pieces I'll need. <laughs> plenty of tools at home, so we just keep uh, sort of spreading it out here and there because um, I've got a lot of little projects that sort of need to be fixed here. Mainly only small ones. But um, yeah, I needed a few tools just at hand. And I guess I'm gonna need tools into the future. So good to see that little LED on. <laughs> okay, put this back in. And then uh, we'll look at maybe the fridge and then we'll think about anchor. And there's also wanna just put a bit of seal around the top of the uh, pop top. But once we've got all those things done, then we can move on to a few other things and we'll actually get out on the water at some point. <laughs> okay. And we're at 12.2, so the charge is coming in. But what we might do is raise the roof. If you notice when the roof's down, all on the side seals up quite well. And uh, I can't imagine any water, unless you're literally tipping the boat or over, <laughs> would get in very much. But the front, you can see there's actually a bit of a gap here from here to here and it really needs some kind of sealing just on this top lip so I figured I'd just put a bit of door sealant just to run it from sort of about here or run around and uh, literally just sort of have it sitting up on here so when it does seal it just gives it a little bit of extra protection so even if it does splash up it shouldn't actually be hitting too hard by the time because it does have to go up under this lip and then back up but there is a gap here that's there and I think uh, just might just run some of this I'll try this first and I'll I'll give it a little hose and see how we go. Oh, 
it's not going to come off easy, that's for sure. Okay, so that should just close that gap up enough so when it's sitting down on this lip, the water's to splash up and it still can't get through this top here because there was just that, there was maybe like a centimetre gap so it should press nicely down on that. I guess uh, the next thing we do is uh, fridge stuff, really. Um, so we went and got a, uh, gone ahead and got this little fridge. Um, I was super lucky to have a few people actually offer a couple of things. I've got a mate that offered me a battery and another uh, guy that follows the channel down in Victoria. Um, you know who you are. Thank you very much. Uh, he offered me a draw fridge, like a Dometic 30 litre draw fridge uh, after seeing the last video. Now, and I super uh, appreciate the offers, but I measured up of a lot of spots in that boat. The head's sort of there. I do want to still keep the toilet just in case the family wants to use it. I don't, not overly fussed about it, but, um, and in here, that is another spot that it could go, but I sort of want to keep that for storage. I guess the real only other option is this little spot up here. So the jaw fridge, unfortunately, was a bit too big, but, I went and measured this sort of area the other day when I was here and this fridge uh, sort of looked like the specs fit exactly and I've just measured it up and I'll put it in now and as you can see I think it was in here before when I was mucking around you can see it actually fits like perfectly into that gap like um and there's even just enough just enough room here on that angle where the boat sort of wall starts splaying out where the cord the power cord fits like almost perfectly so it doesn't get much better than that and I was looking at ways to run the cables down for the battery and you can see there's already a cable sort of running down here so I figured if the solar cables from this new panel it's just a flexible panel I'm just going to have that up on top of the canopy here and this little hole here runs up through the outside and just goes in here so I figure if I just run them in here through this little gap here it's sort of all there ready to go and it's going to be super easy just to follow the same route down, it can go in here, out this hole, straight into the into the back of here, or the, the panels actually will go, the battery I'm thinking might even fit in here. Um, there was a thought, because this is quite, this is just fiberglass, I could cut into this section to make it lower, um, and then it, and we'd probably get rid of all these holes and then set it lower, but then it starts to get a bit tight against this part of the boat. And it means I'm cutting the top and, you know, if I eventually sell the boat, it means this whole section will be cut out. So I don't really want to cut that out. And you know what? It fits in really well. Like, surprisingly, a very nice fit. So what I might do is I could just maybe build an extra little extra ledge here that comes out to just to this point. Because funnily enough, the cushion doesn't actually go. Like, it's got a bit of play here anyway. So it might actually be perfect if I just build another little wooden wall here, just across to here put another little ledge like this on it just to stop it from falling out and that'll cover up these holes and then yeah we're good to go the only real problem is the lid will be opening this way but what I've noticed is like, well, let's try it now actually because I noticed you can buy a spare lid that actually raises higher and it's like a space saver lid where you reclaim some of this top space but I noticed that obviously that means that these pull out these little brackets here well, let's find out, eh? I think they look thinnest when I hold it about that angle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> so that just comes out. So what I'm thinking is maybe you just... Maybe I just grind these off because it sounds like you can always get a replacement lid. If I grind them off and it's in here, like this. Maybe we just roll with it without the with the lid so it just comes straight off and we can put things in and when we're done we just put it in bang it down obviously that'll sit flush and that's a perfect look you still get that little bit of bench space you can still use the cup holders because there's enough height there I think that might be the way to do it
Oh, maybe not. Probably should have bought specific screws, but whatever. <laughs> These are too long, but the head on them's better. I could do two of them. This runs the risky going through the side though, we don't want to ruin it. We'll give it a crack. Probably should countersink that before I go any further, shouldn't I? We'll leave this one in for a sec and we'll get the others in. do it <laughs> just wanted that darker wood on the outside even though this side is slightly nicer either way I'm gonna put a lacquer and varnish on it a stain and varnish on it anyway so it'll change it a bit just match it with the boat all right let's get to the boat and try it out see what we're trimming we need to do before we lacquer it up we're back. <laughs> Get to see how well uh, I did my measurements. <laughs> yeah, it's a big anchor. And we'll talk more about that in a sec. What we might do is turn this on. Show me, hey, there's some gains. That, we're up at 13.4, so, not that you'll be able to see that properly in this crazy contrasting light, but we are actually uh, getting somewhere. It's fitting. <laughs> Looked like I wasn't going to fit for a split second. Yeah, like you can see, if I shave just a little bit off and put a bit of a slope there, it'd actually butt up a little bit closer here. But to be honest, to be totally honest, I don't even think I'll bother. I did bring the tools in the boot of the car though. Maybe I should. I should just shave a little bit off here. <laughs> really need to go more but I just don't know if I could be bothered look it did it, it stole about half a centimeter back but uh yeah see that in the perfect world I would have got that angle perfect from the get-go I really should do it a bit better shouldn't I it's pretty close like no one's ever really gonna look and notice that oh yelch but uh it sits nice and flat which is perfect and this held it nice and snug Definitely need these. Um, so I bought a, a varnish with a stain on it. I don't think it'll be quite as dark as that. It'll probably be more like this. But um, I did pick the uh, slightly darker wood on the side of the um, ply intentionally to darken it up a little bit more. Wasn't sure exactly where I was at, but I think it'll match just fine. Good enough. Ooh, that looks a little darker than I was expecting But it is what it is. I've got to trust the uh, package <laughs> Let's see no. That'll look nice once it's uh, had a couple of coats that'll actually match that wood a little closer than I even thought it would perfect Applying the final coat after this one, I think we'll be good to go. I 
don't really need to do the back it's marine ply so it's already treated and sealed really this is more just for looks than anything okay it's looking really good just wipe our brush up in case we need it it says water base actually instead of oil base so it won't be too hard to clean up but still we can deal with that at home so we're back here again uh, which way are we going up okay so i don't know if this will film very well because it's pretty dark in here but we might get something oh yeah looks like it's coming on the screen okay let's get up in here okay so that there's the force and then that obviously up there is the rear of the bow sprite maybe i'll have to go up the top and have a look okay because what are those bolts there i'll have to go back up and check out what's going on up there and see where we're at wouldn't be such a bad idea i did notice as well another thing that i've got to do is where the rope connects to the chain you can see it's been rusting so that's worn through a little bit it's probably still fine for now but really i should replace it i should just get rid of that link and put it on here so we'll use the same splicing i think i'll just um what i'll do is I'll, i brought the grinder so i'll grind that off and cut it off and then i'll just link it to this one but i've got a the anchor swivel from the old anchor actually doesn't fit on this new anchor but it will fit in between here and here so i'll use that there to connect that all right i've got to go up top and have a look what's going on <laughs> Okay, so that must be the forward stay there. So that bit that connects to that, where the anchor is connected to, that's the other side of the forward stay. How on earth do you get into these bolts there? It didn't look like there was any extra bolts. So that's the where the triangle starts. I don't even think you can get access into there. What are these bolted into? That's the big question. The bow roller on this thing, not only is like, well the sprites, it's not only, it's just, is it too small probably for the bigger anchors and the more modern anchors but it's also um, got a metal roller so when the chain's going over it it's grinding and not rolling at all and when the rope's going over it you can see it doesn't even really spin anymore which is a pain so no spinning and I noticed that when I even gave it a shake there's a little bit there's not a lot but there's a little bit of free play in it as well which is the last thing I want. Let's see if these are even turning. Don't drop the scooter. Oh, see, that's just... Oh, that did tighten down properly. That was really loose, though. I didn't even have to look. I'm not barely turning it. But you know what? I might just undo that and see what's under and Hopefully we don't hear a little clink and, feel... and the bolt drops down. This one was so loose, though, that it doesn't seem to make any difference. It's just a screw okay so well that answers that obviously this is fairly solid but these are it's just screwed on if they're all the same they look like the exact same screws on every side or on every point here if that's the case then i definitely think i should replace it because it looks like it's just screwed in <laughs> so there's no bolts whatsoever tightening that up does make it not wiggle anymore though which is good let's try undoing this one Feels like a screw as well. Okay, this one looks more like a longer one, but it's still just a screw, I think. If we can get it the rest of the way out there. There we go. Screws all round. Okay, well, I think maybe it is a good idea to replace it. And uh, I just snuck down and measured that other guy's <laughs> roller up. And it looks like um, this is nice and solid. So if we can uh, attach one of those big new uh, bow sprites on, then I think maybe that's the way to go. And this looks like it's going to be very easy to get off. Surprisingly easy for how much, uh, how critical it can be actually. <laughs> but anyway, we'll deal with that. Yeah. 
I just went out to get um, the new uh, bow spray, Sprite. Um, and uh, I've got all the bits, hopefully, to put it together. It's big. <laughs> now I see it in real life. I saw it on the, on the internet. And uh, it looked uh, big. But it's bigger even in real life. But it looks pretty cool. You know, it's just obviously made to accommodate these new big anchors that um, it looks uh, sort of big off the boat. But I think once on the boat, it shouldn't be too bad. And I see, like, all the other boats in that strip, they all have big anchors just like this one. Or big, uh, big sprites. So, yeah. We'll put that on. And hopefully that solves my problems. Okay. Let's deal with that. <laughs> it's considerably bigger than the old one, isn't it? Not the perfect placement for a solar panel. But uh, it's doing the job. Until we come up with something else. It's just uh, zip tied on for now. Almost. Let's get that um, bit of wood and put it in. See if we can make this look prettier. It'll be good because it'll cover up all of these holes and all these extra bits. Apparently this was where um, some of the old razor for the roof was, where you'd uh, get the roof up. Oh yeah. Oh, stuck. Pull it out. How goes that? Dude in. That looks much nicer. We've got rid of all of those holes. It's the woods matching ish. <laughs> it's a bit uh it's a little bit more um dark sort of chocolatey that I expected but it's probably because I painted it like the testers that I saw in the shop were on pine it looked a bit more golden but whatever it's pretty close it's pretty close to these ones it's not too bad a match there it's not perfect but you know the boat in general isn't about being perfect so it's fine all right well maybe we should turn the fridge on maybe we could so obviously yesterday I just ripped those hinges off, so this is how we load it in. We just take the lid right off. Just load these water bottles in. Where should we? Upright? Do they fit upright? Let's see. I don't think they do. <laughs> no. No upright bottles. Whatever. And I'll keep this one out because I'm drinking it and it's nice and cold. Chuck them in and we've got something fire up yep oh, there we go <laughs> click it properly and I can hear the fridge turn on we have power if we check our battery we have full battery so the solar panel has charged the battery there which is 15 amp hours plus we've got a 25 amp hour down the bottom there they're all lithium batteries so they can be drained all the way down to nothing I can probably tuck these cords in and get them out of the way a bit better I can do that from down here Here we go. There, we don't want to see those cords. Got enough cords hanging out. Hopefully, we can get like a... I'm going to call it for two days. What is that? I've got a duck fight. <laughs> oh, there's a duck there. Duck fight. Gosh, look at the size of this thing. It's a bit big. Is this, it feels like overkill. It does feel like overkill. But, it's what they tell me to use. And I, I reckon, you know, the first big storm, especially if I don't have as much like chain and everything out as others, because I'm half chain, half rope, I reckon I'll probably be glad I've got a big heavy anchor. Okay, first things first, I guess we remove the old one. Are you kidding? This is the only one that I didn't check. All the others unscrew, no problems. It's going to be one screw that's going to cause pain, isn't it? 
it's always the way. All right, let's get it close so I can grab onto this a bit better. What's going on here? Come on. Oh, we got movement. <laughs> if you thread, I'm gonna lose it. Or if it shears off, wouldn't that just be the worst if it just shears itself off now? Just have to grind it off. Come up a millimeter. <laughs> we'll get there. This one might have actually been a bolt. By the looks of things, because I heard something drop a second ago as well. So this one was a bolt, which makes sense because the others are screws, which you think wouldn't be enough to hold such a important part of the uh, boat. So. That's alright though, let's go and have a look downstairs and see what fell. No doubt there's a bolt there that's missing that I won't be able to find. But the good thing is that means that if I use that bolt uh, hole, it might be a good one to use for the front because I don't think I'm going to be able to... I might still use, I might use these two centre ones at the front and then I'll use the rear uh, bolts that come with the actual uh, new roller. Oh, spiders everywhere coming out of here. <laughs> That's a small one, there was a bigger one a second ago. Where are they? Oh, there's the other spider. You go now, bro. <laughs> oh, now we know where those cobbles are coming from. Ah, oh, go to the wharf, to the wharf. Oh, now he's... Oh, I think he's alright, he's walking on the water there. Oh no, look, he's, he's climbing up there. Well, there's that. <laughs> a little bit of a size difference. Most of it is actually just the mounting. But that's good because it'll allow the stem to slide in here and do less damage to the boat. And the bit that sticks out, this is the tip of the boat here, so it's really only that, that much more. So we should be alright. Okay, we're back at the car again. But what I did realise is I've got this other camera here which has a battery in it, so to get that camera going or this camera re-going but I also bought a bunch of these so hopefully I ripped it getting it on and now it's covered in cobwebs but uh, there I got a bunch of these so hopefully this will help with the wind noise when we're sailing and in general a lot of the time I don't use them because uh, the camera gets so wet all the time but in the boat so the sailboat we should actually have a bit more luck keeping things dry so hopefully this will help with the wind I apologize for all the hundreds of videos that have terrible, terrible wind noise. <laughs> but uh, we came back originally for these, the drills, and uh, I think we're good to go. Let's, let's get moving again. Go. So many trips back to the car, back and forth. <laughs> you need to check what happened to that nut. And I did bring a dead torch this time. Because uh, I'll need both hands, I think. So, let's get this on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Is there a nut there? There is something there. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Okay, so we got it. So that, that's it. That's the nut that fell. Um, I'm assuming there is actually a little hole there. You might actually be able to look in the monitor of the screen on a better angle if I can see some light through that hole. Uh, it's pretty tough to see it. I tried to put this anchor swivel on there yesterday just to swap it over. I probably should get a better anchor swivel, but the more I look into it, you don't really need one. And, um, you know, the debate's out whether it's handy or not. But I could put this in between the rope and the chain so there'll be some kind of swivel. And I need a connector anyway, so why not swivel, eh? So we want to get it, I want to push it a bit forward. You can tell that you see the bow has been a bit damaged under the other bow roller. So if we push it up about there, it'll protect it. Like this whole section will get protected anyway from this point on. 
that actually just fell off. Oh, okay. Well, the bow's falling apart. You can see it looks like it was, um, that looks like bog almost. So someone's already done a repair on it. It really needs to be fiberglass properly. I'll get around to that in the next 10 years. Ooh. Okay. One. You know what? I'm going to get down there and just try and line it up again before I do anything more. And the price tag. Let's get that rid of that. It's actually for a big piece of solid stainless polished stainless steel. <laughs> It's actually pretty reasonable. It was $219, which is reasonable, but still not money I wanted to spend, but hey. It's, uh, this is a, yeah, like I keep saying, a critical part of the boat. I'd much prefer to spend a little bit of money than not be able to sleep at well, well at night on the thing. Okay, we're through. Get these washers here. Let's see how many we need to get it flush because there is a dip in the deck that I've noticed and that's three I got five for each side I, my guess was five and I reckon maybe six <laughs> that looks pretty flush to me there are our stacks so we'll have to get the bolts through them as well I put a little bit of sicker flicks on there. I don't want to put too much on because I'm going to go everywhere. Holes in my boat. <laughs> I'm kind of used to it with the kayak. <sighs> so I'm not really that phased. <laughs> I remember there was a time, oh, I probably shouldn't have done that, that went everywhere, damn it. Okay, well, it's not really any fixing that. Let's see if I can sort of push it in like that. There's one. Okay, that went in. <laughs> Too easy. And it's nice and flush, perfect. Okay. You beauty. Once that one, that one, and that one, so there's a bolt, screw, and two bolts at the back. It's not going to go anywhere. So let's do the front up first, and a little bit of sicker flex just to stop the vibration and to give it a little bit more grip. I think we're going to be good. Get this guy up first. Tight. Okay, we just we can reach this one. So, uh, and there's those lock nuts are going to be the problem. So I'm going to have to just uh, just leave it like that, and then have to get someone to do the top. Because unless I can somehow tape a spanner to it or something, how can I do that? It's going to be tricky. I could try, or maybe I'll just get someone to help me tomorrow. But we'll get the other one on, and uh, maybe we'll just go straight to the grinding bit. Okay. Oh, it's amazing, just like being in there for a couple of seconds, I'm sweating it up. Well, I guess there's more than a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes. But we did manage to get all the bolts on, but they're not done up. <laughs> so, We've, uh, we've almost accomplished what we set out to do today. Yeah, the real issue with this is though, that my power point on this slip doesn't work, which is a bit of a pain. So there is one there, which is pretty close. Kind of got in a little bit of trouble yesterday for using it, but that's because I was using his extension cord as well. Look at that though. Jeez, that looks all right, doesn't it? I was worried it was going to look too bulky and silly, but now that it's on like that, I think it's actually going to be perfect. And that way I can have the anchor stowed there permanently, ready to go. And that roller will make it a lot easier to get in on and off. There it is. Okay. Okay. 
No! <laughs> don't do that. I don't want it to pull the angle grinder in. <laughs> so we just want to get this link off here without cutting the rope. Beauty. Did I nick the rope then? No, it's all right. That's fine. Thank God for that. I was like, oh no. The whole point of this was not to ruin the splicing. Okay, what is this bit of tape doing? Okay, pull this out. Okay, we did it. How hot are these? Ooh, still pretty hot. <laughs> okay. Do this anchor up and we're calling it quits for the day. Now, anyone that's out there that knows a bit more about it than me, let me know if this is an issue, but I don't think this will be an issue having a swivel from the chain to the uh, rope. Should still feed back through that hole because it always has done with this on it. Apart from that, I guess look a little bit of swivel couldn't hurt it looks like it's still brand new and I needed at least some kind of shackle or d-link to do it so it should be all right Tight on the inner and then a loose, loose wrap on the outer. That's what I like to do. Okay. So the elasticity doesn't slowly peel itself back off. She does run in. So actually when I hold it even up here, it does fall in quite nicely. Okay, I don't want all this chain to go into the water. So. That roller that actually works. Fancy pants. We should actually try just dumping it in the in the water, really, shouldn't we? And then just trying to lift it up. I wonder if it comes up. Oh. Sometimes it doesn't sit down there. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a test pull. Oh yeah. that point and she comes up and locks in just like that beautiful and I guess we have to lock this off somehow so I can just pull this tight just lock it off like that and if I need to put a shackle here I can lock it on that it actually permanently have it on there. As long as it's not, it's not really getting stuck on the back stay there. It sits nicely up there. All right. <laughs> it's plenty of clearance, that's for sure. Maybe a little too much clearance. But I think that's pretty good. Just got to do those bolts up. Don't forget that. And we probably could paint around that old edge there, just seal it up a bit. 
but we'll get to that. Anyway, see you in the morning. Sort of looks cool, but look at that. She's a thing of beauty. <laughs> Much better. Alright. We are back at the boat. <laughs> Got some supplies and bits and pieces, but after the drive up in the traffic and the uh, time it's taken to get here, and then we had to stop and get Allen keys because I forgot my Allen keys. And to be honest, I think we might not even we'll get back for a quick test sail, and it's about it. <laughs> but we need some here better planning. Yeah, I know we didn't quite get this right. Jesus, high though. Look at that. I've never seen it that high. She's definitely oh, smaller it's this than high. I remember. She's smaller. Yeah. Oh. In my mind it was hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just chuck that up there. So we bought a few things like dunas and bits and pieces. We really only wanted to just get out for a little quick test with the mainsail. But uh, yeah, just took a lot longer to get out. But we're here now. Is that recording? I think it is. Now what? Open the door. Uh, let's get Tell me what to do, Captain. Oh, yeah. Captain's a very loose term at the moment. I give anyone a captaincy. So I just chuck this down there. Yeah, I'll, I'll come down We're probably going to need, yeah, it's not going to be much room. No, I'll, I'll just do it now. I'll make the bed. Do I have time or are you doing yeah, yeah, my yeah. help to do something quickly? Uh, yeah, I will in a sec because I'd need someone to hold the uh, screws so okay, we can tighten this anchor in. Then. I'll just dump this all here. Yeah. Size, you reckon six? Six exactly. So, all I need you to do, you see that blue Allen key there? Yeah. I just need you to hold that still while I tighten it from the bottom. Okay. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Uh, no, I think just use it. I see Stephen gave me a little bit of love. Yeah, they look a little bit better. Yeah. All right, I'm going down uh, there now, so, um, mm -hmm. yeah, if you can uh, hold on. I'll yell out when I'm about to turn it. Okay. Okay. Let's uh let's go sailing and we'll do the other one in a sec because Oh we'll just give it a jig a little come out. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we got one in, but we're wasting time. We're wasting our high tide, so we should get out, have a go at the mainsail, and then um and then we'll come back and finish that later. Let's get sailing. <laughs> you got it? Plenty of fuel. Climbing the mast, I must need to do something up there. She's raising him up the mast <laughs> in the bosun's chair. Okay. Just leave that there. Yeah. So we're going out back with the sun. A bit stressful getting that little bit done, but once it, once you start turning and once the boat's moving, the rudder starts to take effect. But it takes a little while for it to really do much, and because it's such a heavy boat, it's quite stressful. <laughs> but we're getting yeah. used to it. What does she weigh? Oh, like two ton, like heavy. Oh, okay. Oh, do you want to get those fenders in before I get in trouble, dude? We've got to get those fenders in. I got so ridiculed. Yeah. Anyway. Time to hand this out. Hopefully, we'll put this on. Hopefully, we'll kill some of the wind noise because I know it is very annoying. So, see if we can get this on without ripping it. I'm not sure if it is making a difference, but hopefully, it has cleared a little bit of the wind noise up. We'll see how it goes today. We're just going to motor over, uh, over to the other side, give myself a bit of time, and then we'll try and hoist the mainsail. 
uh, oh, it's probably the should have been. <laughs> yes, that's <laughs> correct. <laughs> so glad you're here, Tuan. No, <laughs> no, I am glad. I'm glad Tuan came. We, it's a very rare that we get um, a, like a sneaky morning away uh, without the kids. So we managed to get away um, and get uh, Nana to drop him off to school. So we thought we'd come up here. We didn't get out as early as we thought we would, but um, we'll still get a very quick sail in before we have to head in. It's just all about the tides in that berth. But from this point on, hopefully we'll be able to get some longer trips in as well. It's a practice one. Yeah, that's it. Practice. And we need a lot of it. Okay. Let's get hooked up. It's looking a bit worn there, isn't it? Make sure that clicks in. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, yeah, the real fishing will start when we get the, those rod holders out and get a big trolling rod in there. How's our depth? 10.9. Sweet. Okay, so we've run into our first issue. This is the topping lift line, but it's jammed. It's not winding in at the mast and it's not even connected <laughs> here. So I'm going to have to, I guess I'm just going to have to tie it and then just have it at that length. I'm going to have to, yeah, figure that out at some point. Should we just do front sail today? No, no, no. We're going to get the main sail up. I'll just quickly tie this up and we'll see. As long as it holds it up just while we raise the sail. That should be enough. Put the motor in neutral just in case we need it in a hurry. Okay, so let's uh, let's veer off up this way and catch some of that wind and see how fast we go. <laughs> Even that little tilt yeah, should... that got me for a second. Yeah, I but know that's she nothing. Can go hold, full hold tilt, that. But yeah. Go full tilt, mate. Yeah. Let's just fix this I'm rope. Not sure how this... About that. Oh, the, this boat will heal right over and it'll be fine. Like, yeah. you should see the videos I've been watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, way, way, way over. So what's the go when you come out on, like, a cracker weathered day when it's just blue skies, And calm, there's no wind. You can't well, you get Well, then you can't anywhere. sail, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you have to okay. motor. Okay. So you want a little bit of wind, but still crack it. Okay, okay. And you have to wait. Or you can motor. But what That's happens if you're out petrol. at sea and, you, <laughs> and you're not somewhere safe? Oh, well, you have to motor. You just get the motor fired up and you, yeah, sure. fine. But you, it's about planning. You don't, you try not to put yourself in that position. Okay. You try, you know. Let's see what happens when we let a bit more sail. I just, I just want to see a bit of testing. Sorry, how are you actually physically doing that? Well, pull down and it'll release and you can let it run through. Okay. I would say that we actually gained a little bit more pace then. Would yeah, you? I would agree. Wild in this video. Okay. It's just it's not an that wild. Thing it's just about a lot of. It's a lot of prepping the boat up. Actually, mm. see that that is actually quite far out. So. Going along it, we're going four, four knots. So Moving. I'm not even like there's only on one sail, and I'm not really doing much. But when I tweak it, and if I get better, we'll, we'll, just, we'll be gone. We went barely here. I guess we're just letting it all out. <laughs> we are directly in here. Yeah, no, that's alright. I think it's just... When we 
pull up. And we'll have a tender. Yeah, grab a tender, get off the boat, jump off the side, go fishing, go swimming. Huh. You see the dream? It's good. You like Misty? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a fan. Just got to get better at sailing. I'm but... going to go tomorrow. Yeah. No, nah, we're going to get it. And once we get that tender as well, think about what we could do. Like, yeah. totally. take the kids out. You just get up to somewhere, camp out for a couple of nights. Honestly, and then... I can see Bob just sitting on the edge. The path. Yeah, and you know how he is. He's, he's mental for the fishing. All right, let's put this back on. So I don't get flame for leaving it off as well. <laughs> Look at that, just cut my hand, putting the fenders back on and there's oysters on the bottom of one of the fenders so I had to tape my hand finger up. <laughs> Should have left the fenders out. Yeah. Really Scrub good. Scrub it up. <laughs> no, thank you. I know, we'll erase all of that. Yeah, it's going. Mm. Not today, but... Yeah. Um, no, I'm just going to go get all that, just that camping kind of metal stuff. Would you paint the interior or do you think you just call oh, it what it, it is could, and enjoy I'm, it? I'm not letting any rust to repaint it. Mm. Doesn't this look nice? <laughs> look at a bed. Yeah. Some tomato. Size so 11 mil bolt that we needed, but all the bolts are done up and they're nice and tight. Rock solid. <laughs> so probably should take this off. It's weird how they dry the lamb. Sure that'll wear off quick. But we are anchor ready, and then some. That's the last of the big jobs, I think. Well, I think uh, we might call it a day. <laughs> So we got a little sail in, not quite the big adventure that we were planning. We were planning on making some food out there and everything, but we just kind of ran out of time and the day wasn't quite the beautiful sunny day we were expecting. But we did get out there. It's nice to get Twan out as well, because I know she's been wanting to come out in the boat. First sail, Twan. Yeah, what are you doing in there? <laughs> yeah. yeah, nah, we'll have another go at it soon. Yeah, sorry, nah, we'll get back to fishing, you never know. We'll have to actually get out there. It just didn't quite meld up this week to do some fishing. And plus I'm just obsessed with getting this boat up to a point where I can just go on sailing trips rather than just fixing trips. But uh, uh, there's been a lot of back and forward, but I think we're getting there. I think we're almost there. So we can just get some good uh, sailing time down and just actually get up to speed on that. They sent the tender actually. So it's, I checked the tracking. It's already like just on the suburb at Queensland airport. So. We hopefully, it says it's going to be delivered on the 9th, which is this Monday, I think. Apart from that, yeah. Next fishing, next video, hopefully we might actually go fishing, maybe off the tender. We'll see what happens. See you later. See you in the next video. <laughs> um, I've got a girl in my videos. <laughs> Crazy. So yeah, 